Hi everybody, welcome to Northwood Farms vlog number 198. I'm Kip. I'm Emma. I'm Michael. Victor. Yes. Victor, Victor was my horse this this weekend or week, middle week in Spanaway. So Yeah. Yeah, and it's Spanaway November 1st, 2017. It's November 2nd. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it just got cold. And yeah. it just now got cold. We've had sunshine and amazing weather for um, this whole entire deal. Yeah, it's been really nice. Yeah, super pretty. So, what have we been talking about? I think Victor's been super interesting because he reminds me a lot of Willow in the sense that pretty hot when he gets worried and um, uh, definitely not simple to focus. Very easily scattered. Yeah, yes. that's you. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Oh, which reminds me of something I wanted to I want to write about a little bit more because I was talking to Buck last night about why I was kept feeling compelled to pull the bridle off in summer with Willow. And the deal was that for the first time I really felt like my rectangle was unshakable. And it doesn't last like I don't I don't like I was saying, I mean, I don't know if I'll ever feel that again. That absolute rock solidness of the horse being in the rectangle but i didn't want to forget the word unshakable so you wanted to pull the bridle off because you're like it's not going to get any better than this Is that what well you almost to prove to myself how not even to prove it but to accentuate the fact that i felt so solid about it that nothing oh. would change like, something like keep that. riding but without a bridle yeah ah, yeah got it. hey we had slight technical difficulty there but <laughs> We got it sorted out. Yeah, so you were talking about the unshakable. Yep, so the unshakable rectangle. And so, I think... Oh, go ahead. No, you go ahead. So the process to getting there... Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, especially um, poignant with Victor, because, you know, absolutely shakable and escalates so fast. Um, we were talking a lot about being united on the circle, no matter what size the circle is, and that being why a lot of this works like it's maneuvers and the maneuvers are important but why do they work what about them is is helping the troubled horse and it was a pretty stark when when he would find um, a spot where he was united whether it be uh, in a short serpentine I did a lot of those uh, in the course of the clinic or just you know a smaller medium circle uh, he would just kind of melt into that and it, it, he found peace there so you could be doing lots of circles or lots of sort of serpentines and until you start releasing for them being united um, you know you're kind of just going through the motion and to me it was like this is sort of frustrating because you can be practicing working your tail off and seemingly getting nowhere and the whole point is to be united in it and as soon as you do it's like ah you know, and it kind of clicks for me. Absolutely. And, and, and I think why is it working is such an important question because that way we can utilize all the movements and the principles within the movements mm -hmm. because we know what we're feeling for. And which makes me think of like, you know, our conversation with Buck about what, what is the human's perception of balance? What is the human's perce perception of united? And because we have to be hunting for what what is correct for the horse, yeah. not even necessarily what we've always felt good about. Yeah, yeah. And for me, the struggle is always what does feel good to the horse and how do I, learning to see that, learning to feel that, and then being, present enough and consistent enough rewarding it that it gets us somewhere yeah oh. it's the never-ending journey <laughs> oh i see buck was what did he say where i was like that's the frustrating part you, uh, he's, he's like a horse can it is you're it's crazy how fast a horse can progress and you guys have seen that with willow like going from in april like being dreading riding her at all to being able to do all these things and that's even on a goodbye buck for Adamant. We'll see you next year. Um, being, you know, how fast it can change and, and what the horse can do without any practice, without any preparation that they can just do it. Yeah. And, and Buck, that's what you were saying. Well, and Buck was mentioning that um, if, if they're troubled, you're just not making progress until you get them to that place of 
home and quiet where they can learn. And that's where I was like, God, it's just frustrating when you know that, that that's not happening. They're not learning when they're in that state, but you're working so hard to get them to a more settled place. But then when you get there, exactly, it can click along so quick if you operate within that that moment, you know, those moments as you string them together. Yeah, and, that, and like you were saying, the maddening part, especially if you touched on that occasionally yeah. then yeah. the insane part is like when you go back to like the horse not in the learning frame of mind and you just not be able to get back to that <laughs> oh boy that is a rough deal but it's been fun to see this one really get centered and he's he just gives you a lot of feedback and actually buck made that yeah. point and i suppose the rain is going to make it hard for us to hear now but he made the point of the sensitive horse, the horse that's not going to um, just get along, is as soon as you can get to the place where you can do a horse like that, that's the best teacher you can have. They give you, <clears throat> they give you more immediate feedback, whereas the dull horse, you could get it or not get it, and they may or may not respond, sorry. Which is exactly what the doctor ordered at a certain point oh, in your yeah. development. Yeah. <laughs> that's important for at certain stages, but... yeah. Know, the tricky horses you know you learn a lot from yep so, absolutely yeah. so here we are this is Kip and I's sixth Spanaway clinic and your fifth probably yeah yep so and this is the end of the year the end it's of gonna the be year, a while the of the season. before we connect again so yep. it'll go by quickly so we hope everybody's having a good week going forward we'll talk to you later see you guys bye